Trump supporters have not been subtle about the fact that they want that wall built. We need the money to put up that wall. We need a wall that is high as hell and as dangerous as hell to cross. People die crossing that wall, maybe they'll just stay on their side. However, that wall that Mexico was supposedly going to pay for isn't close to being built, at least with money approved by Congress. Lawmakers do reportedly have a deal in place to prevent a second government shutdown on Friday, but the deal does not include wall funding. It does include nearly $1.4 billion dollars for border barrier enhancements like steel slats, which already exist, but nothing for the wall. That'll buy him 55 miles of new border fencing, not a wall, not even close. And that's 10 miles less than he would have gotten had he agreed to the deal from last summer that he ultimately torpedoed. Oops, that fact is very inconvenient for Trump, so much so that in front of banners reading finish the wall at his El Paso rally, Trump insinuated that they would build the wall without congressional approval. They said that Progress is being made with this committee. Just so you know, we're building the wall anyway. They say that progress has been made with this committee. Now, building the wall by hook or by crook is what the most hateful, passionate, loyal part of his base wants. That's why Ann Coulter has been taunting him about it on Twitter. That's part of his base that she represents. The same base that took this tweet by Trump literally. We will build a human wall if necessary. And build a human wall they did. According to the Washington Post, dozens, oh wow, dozens, of supporters of President Trump in New Mexico waving American and Confederate flags, how American of them linked arms in support of the border wall. Trump supporters wore signs around their necks saying, stop the drugs that destroy our youth and stop child trafficking. I will lay these statistics out again for them because clearly it bears repeating. A wall can't do much about drugs when drug trafficking is concentrated at land ports of entry, not remote stretches of the border. The Drug Enforcement Administration says only a small percentage of heroin seized by U.S. authorities comes across on territory between ports of entry. The same is true of drugs generally. And there's little evidence to suggest that the border wall would do anything about trafficking either. In 2015, about 94 percent of the 964 criminal defendants in trafficking cases were U.S. citizens. The border wall is a completely symbolic fight, purely for Trump and his base to feel like they have some semblance of a voice. Trump wants the wall not for any real tangible outcome on immigration, but for a real tangible outcome on his poll numbers with his base. Because if he has a strong base, he has a strong chance of re-election, and that's why Democrats shouldn't move an inch on his wall funding. He promised a wall would be built. Make him betray his base.